Hello and welcome to Wisdom Trek. This is Guthrie Chamberlain and I'm your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our seven day a week, seven minutes of wisdom podcast. This is day 236 of our trek and we are continuing on our current trek, which is called Your Life Plan Blueprint. Yesterday, we started our exploration on the third phase of the WESPER framework, which is strategy. As you are creating your life plan that fulfills your life purpose, you must establish goals as part of that plan. Setting a goal does nothing by itself, though. Strategy is a key to your blueprint, which enables you to do planning, which leads to execution and review. I am incorporating all of these concepts, along with some worksheets, into an easy-to-use workbook, and I'll let you know once I have it completed so that you can download it. If you do have any questions or would like additional information as we go through our daily trek, please leave comments at wisdom-trek.com or email me at guthrieadventurecg.com. Since we are in a lengthy series, if you do miss any of the days of the Wisdom Trek episodes, please go to wisdom-trek.com to listen to them and to read the daily journal. We are recording our podcast from our studios at the Big House in Marietta, Ohio. It does look like we will be receiving a few inches of snow in southeastern Ohio on Friday night and into Saturday. Not nearly as much as in the Northeast, but a decent amount. Even with all the sophisticated radar and weather equipment available, you can never predict with certainty, so we will see how much we end up with. It's nice that on our virtual hike of Wisdom Trek that we can remain indoors during bad weather and visualize much warmer days. Today, though, let's head out on our trail for the 17th day of our Wisdom Trek Life Plan process, which we refer to as your Life Plan Blueprint. Yesterday, we explored three points about strategy, which were what is strategy, strategy is underutilized, and developing your own strategy. On our trail today and tomorrow, we will discover the 10 guidelines for creating a successful strategy for any goal or objective that you might set. So let's get started right away. The first guideline is understanding your goals thoroughly. Start with each of your seven-year objectives in mind, and then I'll ask you the following questions. What will you need to have completed by the end of year one to meet your objective? Then drill down on this. What do you need to be completed at the end of month one to stay on schedule? What do you need to complete by the end of week one? And then what are the tasks that you need to accomplish each day of that week? Do you have all the information needed with the goal to create the strategy? What is the gap between where you are now and completing the first week of daily task? You must understand the overall objective, including the information and knowledge needed to reach your short-term activity goals. Our second guideline we want to look at is to pre-plan for obstacles so that you can address them. Visualize that you are now pursuing your goal. What obstacles do you anticipate standing in the way of success? Write all the obstacles down and rank them in the order of magnitude. The bigger the obstacle is in diverting you from your goal, the higher the rank. Pre-plan on how you'll handle each of these obstacles so if they do crop up, they won't derail you from completing your task or goal. Don't leave life to chance. Use the Boy Scouts motto and always be prepared. This concept should be applied to all areas of your life. Instead of getting distracted in the middle of your goal pursuits to troubleshoot those barriers, you can easily brush them aside with the solutions that you've already developed. Strategy guideline number three is identify the best route, but plan for alternatives. After you have set your seven years objectives and obtained all the knowledge on your activity goals, identify all the paths that you can take to reach your destination. Remember that I told you with your main objective in mind, there could be multiple paths to get you to that objective. So take time to analyze the potential paths that you can undertake to move toward your goals. Rank these paths in the order of efficiency and effectiveness. When you implement this strategy, you will always know your best route and have alternative routes available if you do run into obstacles or detours. The best route refers to the path that will get you the most reward for the least amount of effort as opposed to the other routes which may give you a low reward for a low effort, a high reward for a high effort, or a low reward for a high effort. Strategy guideline number four, identify key activities or best actions for success. After you've identified your best route, Identify the key activities for success. Key activities for success are the few action steps which will give you the bulk of your results. They absolutely need to be executed for your goal to be a success. Rank your key activities in the order of importance. The strategy of prioritization will guide you as you move through the planning and execution phase for the WESPER framework. To identify these activities, you need to understand how your seven-year objectives integrate into your life plan and purpose. 
focus or invest the majority of your time on the most important activities that will bring the most impact quickly. We will talk more about this in the planning phase. And the fifth strategy guideline for today is to remain faithful and focused on your daily activity goals. Your life plan blueprint was designed to be simplistic but powerful. Once you obtain the wisdom needed to establish your seven-year objectives, break down the activity goals into ever smaller nuggets. Remain faithful and focused on your daily activity goals so that you will achieve success. You must be willing to make the small sacrifices required every day so that you do not have to make the large sacrifices the rest of your life. You must remain dedicated, persistent, and consistent on completing your daily task each day without fail. You must be willing to live a few years for the life that most people won't so that you can spend the rest of your life like most people can't. If you remain faithful on the small daily task, then you will reap a harvest of results in your life plan blueprint. This lesson is taught to us in the good news according to Matthew chapter 25 verses 20 and 21. The servant to whom he had entrusted the five bags of silver came forward with five more bags and said, Master, you gave me five bags of silver to invest. I have earned five more. The master was full of praise. Well done, my good and faithful servant. You have been faithful in handling this small amount, so now I will give you many more responsibilities. Come, let's celebrate together. So on our trek for today, we explored the first five guidelines to develop your life plan strategy with the WESPER framework. Tomorrow on our trail, we'll dig deeper and explore the remaining five guidelines for creating an effective strategy. We are hiking this trail with determination as we lay the foundation for your life plan blueprint. This framework integrates into the concept of Wisdom Trek as we look at life as a trek, taking one step at a time. So encourage your family and friends to join us and then come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. That will finish our podcast for today. As you enjoy your daily doses of wisdom, I encourage you to help us promote Wisdom Trek in the following four ways. First, leave us feedback about the podcast at wisdom-trek.com so that we can continually improve. Second, on your smartphone, subscribe to iTunes, Google Play, Spreaker, SoundCloud, or Stitcher so that the podcasts are downloaded to you automatically each day. Third, on your computer, or if you have an iPhone or iPad, leave us a rating and review on iTunes. This will help us to promote Wisdom Trek, which will allow others to join us on our trek each day. And fourth, most importantly, please share Wisdom Trek with your family and friends through email, Facebook, Twitter, or in person so that they can come along with us each day also. The journal for today's trek can be found at wisdom-trek.com. Thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I do consider you my friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. As we take this trek together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. This is Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.